Now that the first episode of the series is out of the way, I feel a little bit less bad about... I, I don't want to say spoiling how weird and wonderful this game can be, but I feel a little bit less bad about sort of just broadcasting that weirdness because anyone that's wanting to experience it for themselves shouldn't be watching this video, so that's no longer my problem. Uh, so in terms of weirdness, I can go to the black market and I can get a... Pengil. And you might be thinking to yourself, what the hell is a Pengil? A Pengil, if you look at the little icon, is a combination between a penguin and a seal. And it's $5,240. Yeah. You can splice animals together. If you fully sequence their genome, you can go full Jurassic World on this, splicing different species together to create more interesting exhibits for your zoo. It's kind of nuts. Now, we have Linda right here, who is welcoming me to the town, who says, I would love to extend our warmest welcome to you. The people of the city love having a zoo here, and I have personally cleared the land around your zoo for development. If you want to buy more land to expand, we are happy to sell it to you. Absolutely. $100 right there. We got the land available. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go ahead and buy this land right here for $300. And now that that's out of the way, we've finished the task. We got $1,000 back, which is fantastic. We can absolutely go ahead and build more zoo. I also want to move the geese a little bit here. So uh, Nala and Dutchess are going to be getting moved into this new enclosure down here. And that'll keep them relatively happy as well. We've also got 92 of 100 visitors. So we'll speed things up a little bit. And hopefully get a few more visitors in here in no time at all. That's one of my shopkeepers as well. Okay. Oh, so I can adjust your salary, I can give you a bonus, I can fire you, or I can reset your position. Interesting. I can also create work zones. Now, this is not This is something I didn't know about. Your animal keepers are inefficient, making your animals suffer. Create work zones for better efficiency by selecting each keeper and assigning them places to work. Maximize efficiency by sending more experienced keepers to enclosures that are larger and further from the storeroom. Use the heat map to review your zoning. I didn't know that was a thing. I really genuinely didn't know that was a thing. That's 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 kind of cool, actually. So are you you're a shopkeeper? You're a shopkeeper. Where's my animal keeper? That's a visitor. Staff, we've got Stacy. So that's Stacy, so zone. Set influence zone. Select the enclosures you want your employee to look after. So that one, I guess those two, or maybe those two. I guess maybe those two right there, and then we'll get another enclosure. Well, I guess those three for now. I don't know how efficient you're gonna be though. We do have heat maps, but I, I don't know what they mean. Uh, so drinking water, decoration could be better. Bins are okay. Light is good. Uh, collisions, okay. Entrances, sure. Animal keeper. So if that's green, does that mean you're doing a good job? Janitors. Now you haven't been zoned either. So how do I, oh my God, hold on a minute. So clear current. Clear current. Do I have to like, ooh. Okay. So, select the area I want you to work in. Interesting. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's have one janitor kind of handle that whole space. So, up to there. And that's fine. And then mascots are a thing we can get later. So, that's one janitor kind of handling that whole space. And that seems okay. And I guess what we do, oh, so we've done the 100 visitors, so let's finish that task at $1,500, not bad. Let me build some new uh, paths right here. Because I, I do want to get another enclosure, although I could do an enclosure down here as well. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at the world map real quick. Because we, we have some interesting things we can do, right? So London wanted 
a rabbit for some geese. They now want a snack for some pigs. Australia wants a snack for some uh, hyenas. And yes, I'm saying snack. Uh, Toronto wants a pig for some ducks. We can get pigs from London. And uh, what have we got down here? Uh, Rio wants what looks like a duck for some snacks. So that's interesting. Now, what's what's curious about that is the two geese that we have can potentially give us that offspring. It's not a super high chance, but it's possible. So that could pay out nicely. And then we have um, an animal shelter where we can get more rabbits if we really want to, which I don't really want to right now. So we're not really going to worry too much about that. But I guess what we do is we kind of just hope that the geese... So are you... Duchess is not pregnant right now. Okay. I'll tell you what. Let's make the geese a little bit happier by... Well, uh, changing up their, their food a little bit. So we'll bring the straw down to like 30, maybe 40%. Mealworms, maybe 20%. Bread be 20% as well and that gives us maybe 20% on grains as well so something like that that's pretty good nutrition they're absolutely satisfied by it so that's fine by me I don't want to overfeed them because I feel like that'd be a bad idea and we'll bring in all of the all of the food right there can I just keep quick ordering uh no okay that's that's fine I guess Wait, Enclosures 3's total cost per day is $47.69. What? Oh, it's the prepared meat. It's $35.36. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring that down a bit. It's not... Oh, it is. It is kind of nutritional. Uh, but only like 10% of that's pretty good. So we'll bring that down a fair bit. Throwing some vegetables in there is not going to do much. Uh, the carcass is quite expensive as well. So we'll keep that 10%. And I'm kind of just wanting to do this. Nutrition's not as good as it could be, but it's now a lot cheaper per day, which I'm going to be honest, I, I I would rather it was a little bit cheaper. So that's fine. That means we can uh, get a little bit more profit every day. Now, what is this? I'm thinking of opening a transport dealership to sell industrial vehicles and buses. If you would like to invest a sum of money, I'll open an account for you and ensure you are front of the queue when it comes to buying buses to service your zoo. Sure. I'll donate $500. I've now unlocked buying buses at the ticket office. Okay. I've also got research to play with, so let's do that. Uh, now, if I remember right, there was a drink shop right here. So let's get this animal enrichment which unlocks tropical juice which i need 12 research points for okay well i would like it because i can get uh two employees per drink shop if i do that which is kind of tempting or i could get cotton candy if i get four more dessert shops i increase the number of employees i can get there as well okay okay uh let's let's do cotton candy because we have got a bit more space to play with, so we might as well. And I guess maybe this space down here isn't going to be an enclosure after all. Maybe it's going to be shops and things like that. But then at the same time, I'm looking at this space and I'm thinking, well, it doesn't have to be shops. It could be an enclosure, but we just we don't have that many rabbits or anything right now. Oh, but you're pregnant. That's good. So we're going to have another babby. And then we've got... You're not pregnant right now. That's fine. And then how are you doing? Good old Bosco. Bosco's doing pretty good. That's 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 what you want right there. He is elderly. Which is a little unfortunate. What's, what's the life expectancy on, on old Bosco here? Expected to live until he's 92 days old. All right. I mean, that's, that's, that's all right. We got a, a barking lion. That's probably fine. That's that's not a not a big deal at all. Uh, I would really appreciate it if my park visitors would stop throwing trash everywhere, though. So let me go ahead and do some bricks right across there. And I guess we have a little bit of space to play with in terms of uh, 
in terms of where we can do trash cans. So let me go to amenities. Let me get a nice green bin right there and right there. And that gives us pretty good coverage. So hopefully we'll see a little bit less trash. Although I'm also realizing another janitor is going to be needed because my current one, I don't think covers that area. So let's go to park staff. We could get another animal keeper. We're not going to. We could. Wait, we can get a breeder. Why would... Hmm. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. Let's start searching for... Uh, that's not what I wanted at all. Uh, park staff, janitor. I have no idea how to do... I've completely forgotten how to... <laughs> can I get another one? Am I... Am I losing... Am I lo I feel like I'm losing my mind. I'm almost... Wasn't it like here... And then... Not searching... Animal keeper... Am I, am I? Oh, it's here. It, okay. Yeah, no, it was there. I'm just an idiot. So janitor, that button, recruit, turn that back on, apply the changes. We'll get some applicants shortly. That's fine. Uh, ticket prices. We actually do have people that are not wanting to buy tickets, annoyingly, but that's fine. Uh, so we have the breeder there. Let me have a quick look at something. Do we have a... No. We have restrooms though, and we absolutely should get those. We absolutely should get restrooms. So let's do, oh, hello. It's my end of week summary. How did we do? We made money. We spent money. We made a little bit of profit. That's okay. All right. Oh, what is this? 50 visitors in one day? Sure. What do you, you want me to buy a bus? Oh God. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's, Let's move this just a little bit to there. And let me move you just a little bit to there. And let me go ahead and build. Uh, let me see. What am I looking for? Facilities, amenities, restroom there, and restroom there. And that's that's probably going to be keeping people relatively happy. Ooh. Okay. I think you can grow your business if you had more buses. I know that they cost a lot, so how about I lend you the money? I can give you the money right now, yes. Uh, there is some profit in there for me, but it's really worthwhile for you, I think. Okay. Let's take the loan and get the bus. We got a thousand for that. I'm assuming I'm probably gonna have to pay it back. And we have Arnold, who is gonna offer me a, <laughs> a, 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 a snackoon. I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna ignore that. We also have a janitor applicant down here, which is lovely. So let's take a little bit of a look at that and see how we're doing. Uh, let's go for Conchita. We'll go for Conchita and we'll close the position. So we now have two janitors, which means if I go to park staff and I go to janitors and Conchita, we want to set your zone, which is going to be from there all the way up to, well, basically all of that. So there we go. So now if we go to heat maps and we go to janitor, the entire park is covered. The entire zoo is covered, which is great. So that's exactly what we want. That should keep everything nice and clean, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, let's see. There's the, uh, there's the babby. How are you doing? Wait, did you... Oh, did we lose? I think we might have lost the baby goose. Were you even pregnant? Am I imagining that you were pregnant? I feel like you were. I want to say you were. Oh, well, that sucks. That's, you know, a little, that's a little, that's a little depressing. Okay. What is this? Build benches sure wait what captain captain bleach huh okay that's a name um we want to put a cute polar bear on our ble ugh, bleach bottles and add that and hold on a minute we want to put a cute polar bear on our bleach bottles and add that we oh and add that we donate cash and cleaning products to the zoo to help customers understand our clean message you really need to build some bathrooms, though. Build at least three, and not only will your customers be happier, we will also donate some money to you. Okay. 
I mean, I can, I can, I can do that. Uh, we need to add one more bench and one more bathroom then. I don't really want three bathrooms right across the middle of the park or the zoo. I keep saying park, but it's also free money. So absolutely. Same with the benches. We'll do a nice wooden bench there and there. And we'll do a little bit of uh, a little bit of that going into each of the bathrooms. We'll do sort of this thing, I guess, and this as well. And uh, yeah, that looks that looks fine, I suppose. I guess we can outline these completely, make them look a little bit more interesting. Maybe do some uh, some grass underneath those parts again, just to try and make it look a little bit more interesting. So there we go. That'll be our five benches for $500. That'll be three restrooms for $500. And then we just need a bunch of visitors. We also have research points. How much was it for this? 12? Okay. We're going to we're going to save up for that. We're 100% saving up for the uh there we go. The tropical juice. And that should give me that uh, bonus that I can get two employees per drink thing which is great news. So I'll tell you what, let's go to shops and let's get tropical juice. And I'm thinking, honestly, I'm thinking right there and we'll hire you. And I'm thinking we also probably want to get the cotton candy, which is more of a little stole than anything else. So I feel like it could probably go, honestly, like there is, is probably not a bad place for it. It's going to make that space pretty busy, but that's probably okay. Or we could put it right in front of the management office. But I also like the idea that it would be sort of near everything else. So let's go for there and we'll hire you. And what we'll do is just put some benches next to it. So it sort of has the same footprint as the, uh, as the, the tropical juice thing. And that seems fine. And then if we go into floor tiles, what we can do is put down some of these red ones, I guess, just to sort of mark out the area, make it look a little different. So something a bit like that. And I guess we just do the whole area with the red tiles, right? Just again, to make it look a little different. And that seems fine. Then across the top, we do some gray bricks and then we can do more enclosures up there. And I like that. I think that's kind of cool. I actually think that's that's pretty cool. You can even do a little simple lamp right there. Just to make it look a little different. We don't have anything for farms or factories. We have got some decorations though. Got a nice fountain we can play with. Got some red banners we can play with. An owl clock if we really wanted to put that in there as well. I've not actually had much of a look at just how much stuff there is that I can uh, that I can play with in place around here. It's kind of cool. I uh, I really like it. Oh man, we could we could get into like designing a pretty cool looking zoo here. Uh, I don't see so many wild animals outside the zoo anymore, which is why I love to come here. If you can bring more into your zoo, that would be awesome. Get 25 animals. Oh boy. Oh boy. You want me to get four minibuses? That seems very expensive. That seems like it would be incredibly, incredibly expensive. Oh God, what is this? Oh no, commission a fake animal from Salvador. Is that, 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 there's no, that is 100% meant to be Salvador Dali. The mustache and the name. Anyway. Hey, I noticed. <laughs> I noticed that you have geese in your zoo. But you know what's more exciting? A peafowl. It's technically just a goose that's colorful with a fancy tail. I could make the tail from paper mache. It'll be great. I get to practice my skills and your visitors will love to see a more exotic bird. Sure. Let's do it. Let's. Wait, what the hell are you? <gasps> oh. So, oh God, is that, is that, is that the artist? That, yeah, there's the peafowl. Well, peafowl? Oh boy. Now, hold on. That's dots though. Oh no. Why did you? Oh no. Hold on a minute. I need to look at something. Um, I need to look. So this, that bird right there, I am almost certain if I go to the world map. Yeah. Uh, now, 
we can technically make that trade. We can give them the pea fowl. Oh, oh, this is good. Okay. Give me, uh, give me that goose right there. Let me also get that rabbit because it's a different type of rabbit. So give me both of those. Let me put the rabbit into that enclosure. And let me put the goose into that enclosure. And then what we'll do is we'll trade the uh we'll trade the 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 new goose for whatever it was. What was it? Snacks. Which what do they want? So they're gonna want what looks like a desert enclosure. Is that a thing that we have right now? Let me close this, go to research. Uh desert enclosure. We don't, but we can get it. So we absolutely will. We can also get a nursery to use selective breeding to discover new animal types and help map each species genome. I feel like that would be a good idea as well. I really do. I feel like uh, the nursery is probably a pretty big deal. Then we can get some nice decoration as well. Uh, the savannah enclosure, probably not a bad idea either, but we can't afford it, so that's fine. That's totally fine. So... If we're getting these snakes, hold on, what is this? Hire. One or more of your shop facilities of space. Oh yeah, we can get the two for the drink, guys. Uh, well, don't worry about that for now. What I want to do is... Huh. I feel like another zookeeper is probably not a bad idea either. Let's go to park staff. Let's go to... We could hire two more of you guys. We could. I'm going to get another animal keeper, though. So we're going to look everywhere. We'll apply those changes and we'll kind of wait. And while we're waiting, let's go ahead and build a desert enclosure. So what I reckon we do here is... Oh, we can go a little higher with it. And I think we will, just to be a little bit different with it. We'll go a little higher on the desert. We could do the gate there if we wanted to, but I'm going to keep it sort of symmetrical. And that looks fine. So let's go ahead and get some nice bricks going there. And let's get some stuff in the enclosure itself so that when the snakes get here, they're going to be nice and happy. We can do leaves. I feel like snakes aren't going to be interested in a pile of leaves. I've got to be honest. I, 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 just, I just have a feeling. And then in terms of water, I mean, we can kind of go right there with it and that should be fine. It's pretty basic. It is a pretty basic enclosure, but it'll, it'll do the job and it'll keep the snakes happy. And that's what matters. So, that, wait, no more food. You do not have enough food to feed your animals today. Go to the storeroom and order food regularly to keep on top of things. Oh, boy. Okay, so, storeroom, quick order, buy all of that. That should keep everybody happy. And then I wonder, do we have any, we do have applicants. Okay, let's go for Virgie. We'll hire you. We'll close the position. And now what we do is look at you and we want to give you a zone. So we'll give you that enclosure. And that will be fine. Because the other, uh, the other, what do you call it? Animal keeper is looking after the other three enclosures. So that's good. That keeps us in a good place. We have the new goose arriving in 30 minutes. We've got... The new rabbit arriving in just a second as well. We've got helicopters coming in to deliver them, of course. Naturally. And there's the goose, and there's the rabbit. Okay. So let's go to the world map. Let's go to Rio. Let's trade nibbles for two snakes. And put the snakes in that enclosure right there. And they'll be here in, in, a, in a day. And that's great. So we have a peafowl question mark we have a lion question mark we've got some nice rabbits we've got some actual geese and we're gonna have some actual snakes in no time as well which is lovely i'll tell you what let's let's get these employees actually hold a minute how much is it for another bus how much are we how much are we looking for so order more two thousand okay um let's get one we might as we might as well get one and so does that now yeah so we need 75 percent on that that's fine so a bit more money and we can get that out of the way and then eventually maybe we'll get the extra employees for the drink shops as well 
but I'm not really too stressed about it. I do think having the extra bus is probably going to help us get to 50 visitors in a single day, but also having the snakes will probably help that out as well. So that's totally okay by me. We'll get the uh, snakes in here in four hours. Snake and snake. Ooh. A burning concern. There has been a major fire in the forest nearby. We really need your help. Can you donate to us so we can rescue as many animals as possible? One more thing. You will need to look after them too. Donate a thousand dollars and take in incoming animals from the forest fire. Absolutely. And it's capybaras. Ooh. All right, we'll put them in there for now. We will probably give them their own enclosure though. So let's do that. Let me uh, let me get some bricks. Let me do something like this and something like this. And let me do some nice kind of brick circles there. Because I want to do an enclosure on each side, essentially. And we'll maybe go a little bit higher with it. Something like this will uh, kind of do the job. It could, we could definitely go bigger. We could make an enclosure the entire size of like the the thing up there. And eventually we probably will if we get that far with the game. But for now, let's just get a nice enclosure for the, uh, the capybaras. In fact, let me change that up a little bit. Uh, let me do this so that I can put a water pump up in that corner. And we'll do the gate right down there. And if we go to amenities, we can do a nice water pump there. And then in terms of the enclosure itself, we'll go ahead and do a nice water basin. We can go ahead and we can add a small bowl to the corner and we can add some leaves as well. I don't know if capybara are going to be interested in leaves, but we'll get them anyway. And we'll go ahead and move the capybara. We've got Darby and Tiny into the new enclosure. So there we go. That'll keep them nice and happy. And then in terms of world, no, not the world map, actually, heat maps. If we go to Animal Keepers and go to Virgie, we can give you that enclosure. And that means we have one Animal Keeper looking after those two and one looking after those three. And that seems pretty good. So that, ah, there's the snakes coming in as well. There they are. So who have we got? We've got Stella and Dash. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what we should do. We should go to the storeroom and we should sort out their food before we forget to. So the snakes have no nutrition whatsoever. So let's bring this right down to 30. And insects are not bad. Let's do that at 20. Uh, eggs are pretty good as well. So we'll do that to about 20. I don't really want to give them too much in the way of carcasses, but they are pretty good for nutrition. So let's do something like this. Let's do something like this. And maybe another five on that. Another five there. And that keeps them kind of happy. So that's that's pretty good for the uh, for the snakes. Uh, for the capybara, we'll bring the straw way, way down to about 30 as well. We'll give them some grain. So about 20% on that. We can give them poop as well. If we really wanted to. We're not going to, but we could. Uh, we'll give them some water plants too. So that's about 20. That's actually very good on the, the uh, nutrition right there. It's also a little bit expensive, but that's okay. Uh, we'll do this up to about 30 as well. Do this up to about 40. And that keeps them satisfied. So that's good. Let's quick order all of the food. Let's have a look at research and see what we can do. So, what have we got? We have an ice cream van which I don't hate the idea of getting. I'm not really going in any one particular direction right now. I mean, we could get a processor to convert deceased animals into useful resources. We can get a, an abattoir to turn live animals into dead animals. We don't really want any of that right now. We can get a furnace. Actually, an incinerator would be really useful because that's that lets us cremate dead animals when, you know, natural causes and all that. So let's get the bushes. Let's get the chocolate vendor. And then the next thing we get can be the incinerator. So that's fine by me. That absolutely works out. But this is a good looking little zoo right now. I'm actually quite pleased with this. Although I'm also thinking that... Uh... Oh boy. Uh, that's not good. So we're actually slightly broke. 
And I've had to take a loan to pay off. Oh. Wow, my expenditure was considerably higher this week than uh, than anything else. That's that's not good. Okay, maybe. I mean, we see some complaints up here. Uh, so ticket price. Your ticket price is too low. Oh no. Genome donation. We at the Monsanto Corporation want to donate the plans for a CRISPR splicer. Since the discovery of CRISPR, it is possible for you to create animals by literally editing their DNA. Want a hopodile or a pig monkey? If you map the genome of an animal by finding or breeding all 10 variants of any animal type, you can create your own animal. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'll tell you what, I want the thousand dollars right now. I kind of need the thousand dollars right now. I also want to bring the ticket price up a little bit to like seven dollars and see if that helps us out a little bit. Because, oh boy, do I not want to go broke. That's, that's for sure. I absolutely do not want to go broke. Also, I want to fix that little bit of path right there because that's ever so slightly annoying me. Um, so get rid of you. Do that. Get rid of you. There we go. That looks a bit better. Actually looks the way it should. The capybara seemed to be happy. And, oh my god, they actually jumped into the bush. That's amazing. That, that's, that's actually amazing. Okay. I feel like bushes for all of the animals would kind of be the way to go. I, I, hmm. Okay. All right. I wasn't really, I wasn't really thinking snake. I mean, I don't know if snakes are going to enjoy bushes, but they're going to get some. And then the geese can have some bushes as well. Oh my God, they do. They're actually jumping into it. That's amazing. Um, okay. That makes me really happy. Uh, let's do this as well. And that'll probably keep the, the geese occupied. We don't really have the room to give it to Bosco, but that's that's just going to be the way of it, unfortunately, for, for old Bosco. And you know what might also be an idea, now that I look at it? Is getting uh, some amenities up here. So getting a nice bin right there, I think is going to be a really big deal. Just to keep the, piece, the, the place nice and clean, right? And this looks all right. Aside from the fact that we're near broke and we still haven't managed to get 50 visitors in a single day and we still don't have 25 animals or four minibuses. You know, aside from all of that, I feel like we're doing okay. So, you know, uh, what is this? I guess, oh wait, it's you again. Uh, what was your voice? Well, I guess your zoo isn't that bad, but I can smell the animals from my house. I'm sure you can mask the unpleasant stench with the rich sense of tasty, unhealthy food. Okay, and you want me to build the, sli the splicer as well? Yeah, we can, uh, we can get, what, two more food shops in here. Didn't we, didn't we actually happen to get, oh, I don't want to build this right now. Didn't we get, uh, what, uh, the chocolate vendor? So we could do that. We can do a chocolate vendor right about there. And I mean, we could arguably do another one somewhere, like back there. It honestly doesn't seem like a bad idea to do like a chocolate vendor, a snack vendor, and a cola vendor all kind of in one space there. So that's, that's pretty good. And then finish this task. What are you going to give me? A thousand dollars? Beautiful. That's what I want. I needed that thousand dollars. I'm not going to lie. But that, that works out. That'll hopefully get us a bit more money. We've also done 50 visitors in a single day for $1,500, which I'm pretty sure means I can go and get another bus. So give me another bus, please. And that's $1,500. Okay. That seems, that seems good. We also need to spend a thousand building the CRISPR splicer, but I really don't want to build that right now, so I'm just not going to. I've I've got absolutely no interest in building it at the moment. For right now, I just want to make sure my my animals are okay. We actually so Duchess is pregnant. We have got a new one. We got Gilda right there. Dot is is the peafowl, obviously, is fine. The rabbits are breeding like rabbits, and the capybara are just enjoying themselves up there. So that's great. Okay. This this is like a functional, it's a functional little zoo. 
That's exactly what we wanted it to be. Just a functional, happy, uh, wonderful little zoo with an incinerator unlocked because we unfortunately are absolutely going to need that. So, you know, it's a functional, happy, wonderful little zoo with the potential to incinerate the animals, which, I mean, look, the simple fact is we are going to need to. Mike also wants us to incinerate an animal, but we're actually going to be waiting a while to do that because they all, I hope, are nice and healthy. Hopefully. 